Hey guys, welcome back to 101 Sports Cards. Today I have a really exciting video for you. Um, so, one of the first videos on the channel was some cards that I was going to be sending to SGC. And those cards have come back to me. I just got those today. Um, I have already seen the grades. Um, I was excited to see them. I wanted to see them. Um, I didn't want to wait until they got back to me. Um, so I did look at them, and we're going to go through each of them individually. There's only four, um, and I don't have a ton of cards in my collection at the moment. I just got back in uh, to the hobby back in uh, like February, March time frame, and uh, just not a ton of cards that I felt were worthy of sending um, off and some of these I pulled some of these I bought so uh, without further ado let's get into this um, just so you know I sent these cards in on uh, September 18th they received them on September 21st and they were graded I believe October 26th and I received them back on October 29th so just a little over a month, maybe five and a half, six weeks total on the su submission, which is probably the best in the industry for the price. Uh, HGA is well over two months at 30, I think 25 to $30 a piece. And then their uh, 30 day is 35 or 40 a piece, I believe. So pretty happy with, with the results and I'm happy to show you the four grades. So the first one, is the Dwayne Wade 2003-2004 uh, Tops Rookie, and it got a 9. So in my in my first video, I I felt like this was, I felt like this card was going to be a 10. I, I don't know why, but these cards are tough, tough grade. The pop report shows that. Um, the centering on this card is, it was perfect. I felt like it was, you know, 50-50. So I don't know if there's surface issues on these cards or what that, that that makes these a tough grade. It's something that can't be seen with the naked eye. Um, but you know, a nine, um, I'm still happy with that. I bought that card for twenty five dollars at uh, one of my local card shops, and um, I felt like it was worthy of of being sent in. So first one is a nine, Dwayne Wade rookie. Next up, we have the Anthony Edwards Courtside, um, just a retail blue uh, from this year's Select, and that one got a 9.5. Um, you know, again, you know, these four cards I felt like all had a, a great chance of, of hitting a 10. This one was super close. Um, you know, I don't know why. I wish, I wish these card grading companies would give you. Um, feedback on on the grades and why they got a certain grade. I feel like that would be very helpful uh, for someone like myself or someone like you um, who may be submitting cards and it helps you with the evaluation process on these cards. So next up we have the Zion Williamson it is the 1920 Mosaic rookie card fast break prism and it is a variation in the red jersey. So that one got a 10. <clears throat> so before I sent this in, this was the biggest card in my collection. And I'm, I'm not sure that it is, that's true today. Um, but for that card to hit a 10 is um, incredible. So the pop rate on this or the population count on this card, um, when I looked after the grading was a three. So there were only three tens of this card. So I don't know if that includes my my 10 or if my 10 makes that four. I haven't looked at it since, so I don't know if that's updated. I don't know what the, the time frame is for them to update their uh, pop report on their website. Um, but it's a big, big card. Um, super, super happy with uh, getting the 10 for that Zion uh, fast break. Uh, rookie variation. I don't know what the print run on on that variation is. They don't tell you that, so it's hard to say. Um, but there's not very many graded cards of that at SGC, and I haven't looked at the other companies. Lastly, we have 
a concourse retail prism lamella ball from select and that one is a 10 as well so everyone knows panini is a tough is is had a lot of qc issues and you just never know um what you're gonna get but when i when i evaluated this card i saw no issues whatsoever and the centering was was just spot on and it that was the case and you know it came back a 10 so um super super happy with the submission um, I'm already working on the next submission here. I was waiting. I have the cards pretty much ready to go. I'm going to check them one more time. But um, I was waiting for these grades to come back. I wanted to see uh, I wanted to see what the grades were and see if if how I evaluate cards is accurate and um, I'm doing what I need to be doing. And I think that's I think that I am and um, I highly recommend SGC. Um, I know PSA is king, um, but if you're looking to get cards uh, graded uh, in the short term, I would highly recommend that you go with SGC um, for the turnaround times, the cost. It's very affordable, and um, I like their slabs. I like them a lot. So um, if you haven't done so, uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and... Uh, Drop a comment if you haven't done so. I appreciate all the support. We have surpassed 100 subscribers and the channel continues to grow. So that's it for now and thanks for watching.